say the demeanor of a boy in Spaniel is? Man, I'll tell you, they're they, they've got some grit. You know, they're you know they may be they may be small, they may have curly hair, but you know I'll tell you, you know they they can get after it. A lot of times it surprises me in the fact of what he's actually what these dogs are capable of doing. Um, you know, and I think they surprise you know most of the people that they hunt with. I mean, it's just. There's a, there's a common a common perception of these dogs of being soft and being these house pets and being these you know you know you know your occasional dove hunting dog and it's not you know these these dogs are fully capable of doing everything and they've got some style I mean they really do you know when you know they they each each and every one of these dogs are different you know they've all got their own style and they've all got their own spunk where you know. They've got these big water entries, they've got these hard water entries, um, and they don't stop until, you know, their heart quits. And that's just something that's, you know, bred into them. You know, whenever I go to a boat ramp, you know, there's already this, uh, this kind of smirk on a lot of people's faces whenever you, you pull up and you whip out this little 40 pound brown dog. Cold weather is going to get any dog. When you've got cold weather, you know, you can't just throw a dog out and expect them to just take it. I mean, you, you're certain things you have to do. Um, you know, generally speaking, if I'm hunting, you know, in the low 20s, you know, I'm bringing, you know, kind of a down jacket. You know, I'll wrap it around them to kind of keep them warm. But, you know, I remember when I was, when we first had Waylon, when we were hunting in that first season, still wasn't even a year old yet. You know, I kind of, once again, I threw them at the wolves and, you know, we probably had a you know, quarter inch thick of ice, and you know, there he was. He was trying to break through it. He was getting out there after it. And, you know, really the water doesn't do much to him in the cold. It's the air. So when they jump in the water, they get wet. You know, they're okay with that. The water, most of the time, is warmer than the air. So when they come out and get the wind, that's when you know they can start getting really cold. So what I'll do is I'll take. You, know, you can get a jacket. You can get something and just wrap it around them. Um, and it gives them something to, you know, break that wind chill, and then that's really what keeps them keeps them warm throughout it. You know, so our puppy pickup day is probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, you know, with these dogs. You know, it's something that we've taken a lot of pride in. When we first started thinking about how we were going to do a puppy pickup, you know, it started out very simple, and then we, we started saying, you know. Let's do something different. Let's be different. And we really wanted to give our owners um, and all of these families an experience when they pick up their dog. You know, whenever, you know, I can't tell you how many times, you know, when you pick up a puppy, especially when you have a family with children, that day is really special. It's something that they're gonna, they're gonna remember for the rest of their life. And I want to make that as most memorable as I possibly can. Um, and it's just something that it's, it's a little more personal, you know, you know, when you're spending this much on a puppy and you're putting this much time and this much effort, it's the least we can do to really set ourselves apart from everybody else and just, you know, treat it as if it was a true family member. You know, these aren't just dogs, you know, these, these, these puppies and these dogs are our family members, first and foremost, you know. We, we love our hunting dogs, but without a doubt, these are our family, and it's something that um, we take a lot of pride in.